Greetings, greetings. Welcome to the Weekly Awakening. And today we're going to talk about what food represents inside of your dream. So our dreams are messages to us from our inner self, our inner teacher. It's uh, an experience within the subconscious mind while we sleep. And it is a message reflecting back to us how we're using our mind. And dreams are in the universal language of the mind, meaning that every it's a language of images. And each image has a universal meaning that we all uh, understand it to be, um, such as food. We all know, you know, we see food, we know what it means, nutrition, um, and it's, you know, sustaining the body, continuing life. And so it has this universal meaning. And so then we can look at that I image and symbol and then derive what our inner self, our inner teacher is trying to tell us about how we're using our mind. And so three things to remember about dreams is one, every dream is about you, the dreamer. Every person, place, or thing inside of a dream is a part of you, the dreamer. So if you, you know, dream about, um, you, know, uh, you know, your cousin Stevie throwing rocks at your head, then, you know, that doesn't mean, you know, keep away from your cousin Stevie. He's, he's got something out for you. You know, it's just representing something about yourself. That is, uh, that is that you can look at your cousin Stevie to understand and derive and pinpoint what it is about yourself that you're needing to pay attention to. Uh, and then three, um, only you, the dreamer, can interpret your dream. Um, I can share with you what the symbols mean, but only you can understand what the dream is telling you. It's like uh, getting a letter in Chinese and, uh, you know, um, I know how to speak Chinese. And so I can share that with you, but only you can understand what the intent of the letter is saying. You know, the, the stories within the letter, the experiences that are being conveyed and shared and the love expressed in the letter. Only you can understand that and uh, find the meaning to that. And with understanding the universal language of the mind, you have to understand that it's a, it is a language. And so just as math is a language of equations and numbers, and uh, music is a language of uh, harmony and rhythm, and uh, you know, our speaking, spoken language and written language is a language of sentence and structure. Uh, our, the universal language of mind is a language of form and function. You, know, you wanna look at the form, which today is food, and then look at its function, which is to provide nutrition. And then you have to relate that to the mind or the self or the soul. You know, what our food supp supplies us with nutrition so that we can sustain life. Just like our experiences will supply us with knowledge so that we can continue growing spiritually, mentally, emotionally, um, physically. You know, so we see food, we take food, we put it into our mouths, we break it down, we swallow it. Uh, you know, it goes into the uh, digestive tract. We digest the food. The body extracts the parts of it that it needs, the parts that are necessary to continue growing. Those parts become the physical body, you know, become the hair, the skin, the organs, you know, the uh, bones. It become the food, the nutrition extracted from the food and water become a part of us. And then the body then takes the what's left over, which is the waste, the body can't use it. There's nothing to do with it. And so then we let it go. We, we uh, you know, excrete all of that. And so it's just like in our life experiences. You know, we, we receive our life experiences. We break them down. And then we digest what has occurred. And we extract the good from it, the things that we can use from it, the learning, the understandings, the knowledge. We extract that from the experiences. And we make that a part of ourselves to carry forward and, and become a part of who we are moving forward. And then, and then it's a lot easier. Once you've done that, then it makes it a lot easier to let go of the rest of the experience, the, the waste, the, the part that we don't need to, that we don't need, that we release, you know, and it, but if we hold on to that part that we don't need, it will turn toxic, you know, just like if we never go to the bathroom, you know, it's going to, it's going to become toxic and you could die. You know, so it'll, it'll turn toxic if you hold on to these life experiences. You need to let them go. And the best way to let those go is to extract what's needed from the experience. And then you can let that go. But now this is just mostly talking about uh, nutritious food, you know, um, food that we can that that we can derive nutrients from. Um, and so sometimes in your dreams, you have food of, of candy or um, donuts, you know, things like that. Like I had a dream once where I was first at my grandma's house 
and uh, she had all these uh, cupcakes and little little cakes and snacks. And I was loving it and enjoying it and, and eating all these snacks. Then I left and I went to work. And then there was all, all these donuts there. And everybody was enjoying all the donuts. And then, and then I woke up and the dream was over. And so that kind of food, the purpose of that, the, the function of that isn't for the nutrients. We aren't eating candy for nutrients. We're not wondering how much protein is in a, a you know, chocolate cake or how many, um, you know, um, how much iron is in a, a scoop of ice cream. You know, we're looking at that, you know, for, to satisfy the senses, you know, because it tastes good. You know, it's sweet. It's, uh, you know, it's, it satisfies the senses. And so that's going to be just like in our life experiences. If we're ex having experiences more so just to satisfy the senses, you know, then it will, uh, that's what the, that's what, what food will show up in your dreams versus having experiences to gain knowledge and understanding from you know, and extract wisdom out of the experiences. So I had, when I had that dream, it was a day when I kind of had a lot to do that day. And, um, I just put it off for the next day and went out and, you know, watched, I think I watched like two movies at the theaters that day. And, uh, and then just, you know, went and hung out with some friends and, and really just kind of put things off and just enjoy, enjoyed myself, you know, satisfied my senses. And, um, you know, my visual senses and my mental senses and things just satisfied my senses versus, um, you know, using the day to learn something from about myself or, or about, you know, creation or life or the universe or being productive. You know, I wanted to be productive. I was at work in the dream, but I didn't. I just instead ate, ate donuts instead of worked. And so that's kind of, you know, you want to look at what kind of food is in the dream. Is it nutritional food? Is it, um, you know, candy, sweets? you know, Milky Ways, <laughs> or is the food even good still? Is it expired? Is it rotten? You know, is the knowledge already been sitting there too long and there's not really much to, to learn? You know, is it, is it too, too good? You need to just let it go. And so by looking at the quality of the food and, um, you know, what type of food it is, you know, candies and sweets or a nutritious food or spoiled food, things like that, then it'll give you more insight into how you are approaching your life experiences. Are you approaching them trying to extract something to learn? Are you, or are you just kind of, you know, wanting to enjoy yourself all of the time? You know, is, are you just satisfying your senses and going with whatever the physical body wants you to do? Or are you mastering the body and using it to learn from the experiences that you have, you know, so, you know, are, is the food there? Did you even eat the food or are you just in the kitchen preparing food? Cause then preparing food is kind of like you're, you're setting up your life experiences in order to determine what you want to learn. Verso, like if, uh, if, if me and my fiance get into an argument and I want to then break down the experience, digest what has occurred and then understand what I have to learn from that experience. You know, um, maybe it's, I under, I understand more about listening or I understand more about receptivity, or maybe I understand more about forgiveness. Then it's a whole lot easier to let the rest go and not, and not carry it along with me, you know, or am I, you know, just kind of, so that's kind of taking the experience that you already have and finding out what you have to learn from it. But if you're like in a kitchen in the dream preparing the food, then that means that you're setting up your life experiences in a way such as, you know what, I want to understand more about concentration. So I am going to create, I'm going to go and do this and this and this, and I'm going to approach this experience with the understanding that I'm going to apply my concentration so that I can understand more of what it means to have concentration, what it means to capture my attention and hold it there. You know, then I'm going forward into the experience with already something in mind that I'm wanting to learn from it. And so that's more I'm preparing the food. I'm preparing the knowledge that I'm wanting to learn to, to, to where it's nice and prepared for me to, to partake in. So, you know, are you in the, in the kitchen making the food or are you making the food and then eating it or is someone else eating it? 
you know, what's going on with the food. You just kind of want to look at the different things that are happening with the food. That'll give you more insight into how you're using your mind. And then you can go forward with, okay, let me think about yesterday or the day before. And what was I really understanding? You know, was the food at work? So what am I understanding about being productive? What is it about being productive that I'm learning in my life experiences? You know, or, um, you know, just you want to look at the day before and look at what you're understanding so that you can more consciously pull more knowledge and make it a more permanent part of yourself or to then replicate the learning in future experiences or understand how you learned that or how you came to that understanding so that you can replicate that in the future with, with more wisdom and more understanding available to you in future experiences. And so the universal language of mind, it's, it, it's within everything. It's a part of everything. It's a part of our own language. You know, like, like we say, you know, oh, here's some food for thought. You know, here's some knowledge I'm going to partake unto you. You know, or, um, you know, hey, how you been in a while? You know, I haven't seen in a while. How you been? Uh, man, I just got a lot on my plate right now. You know, and it just means I have, I have plenty uh, before me to, to pick and choose and learn from. I have a lot of experiences going on that I can learn from. You know, and as you continue eating and all of this food, you know, this spiritual food and deriving more and more understandings, you know, just like in physical life, you get filled. You know, you get full, your belly gets full. So just like this, that, that is how you become fulfilled is by deriving the learning from every life experience. Because then there is no, there are no failures. Because failure is just a matter of not learning. So if you've learned from the experience, then you never failed. So you never have any failures, you never have any losses, because you're always extracting something from the experience. So then nothing but good things are always happening to you because you are uh, building upon yourself, you're progressing, you're growing, you're becoming fulfilled, and you're becoming greater to then use those understandings further along in this life and in future lifetimes. And then maybe you're pulling out, deriving other understandings, you know. So maybe you're... Um, Maybe that's part of what was going on with uh, preparing the food. You know, maybe you were, maybe you found some food in a treasure chest, you know, or something, or or, or something like that, because that would kind of symbolize that you have like pulled out this inner wisdom from past lifetimes and understandings out into your conscious mind. You know, so so if uh, you have a dream like that, that's wonderful. It's beautiful. You really want to reflect on uh, what it is that you that what understanding you it, it is that you have pulled out of that. And so that wraps up what food is going to symbolize in your dreams and, and how to take that forward and interpret that uh, in, in your dream. And then you'll kind of want to look at the other symbols to give you a little more information. So hopefully those symbols are already on the YouTube channel so you can kind of put everything together and got to get a nice whole picture of what's occurring within the dream and what and the message that is being told to you and, and given to you. And uh, so, you know, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below, uh, you know, if you want a dream interpreted, share it with us, any, you know, give us a message, uh, Facebook, Instagram, at The Weekly Awakening, um, or send an email, selfawareness3 uh, at gmail.com. Uh, we'd be happy to share. Uh, I always love to freely give knowledge and help others to grow and prosper. Uh, check out the book, uh, Life is But a Dream, Understanding Yourself Through Understanding Your Dreams. Uh, on Amazon at the end of August 2018. Um, it'll be a, a audible, uh, eventually an audible book. It'll be an ebook and paperback by the end of August 2018. And so check that out. That'll give you more understanding of uh, what your dreams are, how to interpret your dreams, uh, a rundown of the structure of the mind so you can better understand, you know, the super conscious, subconscious, conscious mind, the inner workings between the conscious and subconscious and things and, and how that that relates with each other um, you also get an understanding of how to remember your dreams how to interpret your dreams a great breakdown in there uh, on that but we also have another video that gives a, a quick rundown on that and so uh, check all that out if you like uh, keep uh, keep posted for more videos to come and uh, we leave you in peace